Hey guys, this is Nurse Cicely here. It is Sunday, October 25th, and I'm coming to you guys with a update. <laughs> I'm about three months too late, so sorry about that. Um, so my last video was um, July 20th, which was about three months ago exactly. Um, since then, I have actually lost some weight. I have um, embarked on a couple of different lifestyle changes, so I wanna share that with you guys. Um, so I started officially I was kind of like already on my weight loss journey at that point. Um, I had started taking the weight loss drug Phentermine, um, also known as Adapex. And um, I took it for an entire 30 days. And during that 30, 30 day time frame, I ended up losing about 15 and a half pounds, which was awesome. Um, I was also increasing my water intake and I was working out a couple of times a week also. Um, but here in Kentucky, I don't know about other places, here in Kentucky, it's kind of hard to get doctors to prescribe fentramine for you. So like I have a primary care doctor and I have health insurance, but it's an easier process to get it through like med spas. But at the med spa, they charge you like a hundred, hundred twenty, hundred and thirty dollars but it's because you're basically paying for the medical visit. Um, so I had a talk with my primary care and I said, look, I know that um, it's not like that a drug, a pill is not gonna be the fix that I need. But also, I'm currently at the highest weight I have been, so I would like to try alternative means because I don't want to go the surgery route just yet. And um, I am trying to lose weight for um, what will eventually be like, you know, my path to motherhood again and to also just being healthier just because I know I need to lose weight. Um, when I got my labs drawn this year, my A1C was a 5.6. And since um, I'm predisposed to diabetes anyways, I am really trying to stay on the track where I'm monitoring, keeping up with that. And also I know that weight loss has a lot to do with endocrine function, which has a lot to do with diabetes and other um, endocrine metabolic issues. So I don't want to catapult myself further into the diabetic state if I don't have to. And again, I know it's strong. there's strong heredity in my family, so there's a strong chance I still may get it anyways, but I wanna be the healthiest that I can be um, should the onset of diabetes actually happen. So um, like I said, I lost between July and August, I lost about 15 pounds and or 15 and a half pounds and since then i've still maintained about a 12.6 pound weight loss um some habits that have changed for me i'm trying to eat more at home i'm also um drinking more water still and the newest habit is i got accepted for a pilates teacher instructor training so i am training to be a pilates instructor and by doing so, I've got to actually work out and work on um, routines and learn positions and posturing. And I'm realize I'm slouching <laughs> just now. Positions and posturing. And I've actually got to learn how to be able to teach people Pilates, which means doing the work myself. So I'm in an it's an intensive mat Pilates instructor training. Um, if you guys are familiar with the the brand of Pilates, Stott, S-T-O-T-T. -T. That is the brand that I will be getting certified under. So um, I finished my class, it's November 8th. So after November 8th, I have six months to take my, um, my certification test, which consists of a written test and a practical exam. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but what I'm more exciting about, excited about is like, if you guys kind of go back in my past pre like videos from like years and years ago when I was doing my vlogging for my weight loss journey, being an instructor of some sort, like a fitness instructor, was actually on my list. And I feel, and I kind of felt at the time that I needed to be at a certain weight at a certain place, but if I can start at my heaviest weight and then be a an instructor, a Pilates instructor, then like I truly feel that that should be motivation for anyone that like, you know, it just starts with moving. So we gotta start moving, like that's all we have to do. So I'm by no means perfect, I'm no Pilates expert, but I truly enjoy learning about Pilates and I cannot wait to bring it to other people. And um, I would like to have a special focus on women of color, on women who are overweight, and then eventually I'd like to get into like the pre and postnatal Pilates as well. So um, let's see, here in Lexington, Kentucky, we're still doing um, online learning for students, for school, for kids. So my son will actually maybe, fingers crossed, hopefully be going back to school in January for in-person learning. That's still kind of up in the air. 
Um, I have mixed feelings about it. Um, being that Liam is on the autism spectrum, I do feel that he needs to be um, at least seen a couple times a week for targeted services. Unfortunately, we were not one of the few families that was picked to receive targeted services. So um, he has just been spending a lot of time at my parents' house since me and Ryan, my husband, both work. So he's been spending um, basically Monday through Friday at my parents' house um, so that he could have someone supervise and facilitate his online learning. And um, like I said, that he's in fifth grade this year. So that component of socialization, that component of um, like being in a routine, I really feel is necessary for him to thrive. His grades for the first quarter have actually been much better than I expected. Excuse me. And also... Um, like, I'm just very proud of his progress. And it's one of those things where you have to just, like, take it as it is because, like, you know, we're all in this pandemic. We're all going through the same situation. So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm going to still expect him to do his best and make sure I stay on top of his work with him. But um, I'm just very proud of his progress. So, yeah, like I said, um, I have maintained a 15 and a half, about, well, I lost 15 pounds in a month with Ventarine. And I have now, I've maintained about 12 and a half pounds of that loss. My next step, I was going to try um, a drug called Saxenda, S-A-X-E-N-D-A. And that is a drug that also could help lower blood sugar. So, you know, for me with that twofold issue of having that borderline A1C and wanting to um, kind of curtail any sort of diabetic metabolic issues that might happen with me, I just wanted to give that a try. My insurance, unfortunately, does not cover it, and the out-of-pocket price would have been $1,334. So, and that's a monthly price. So seeing as I'm not paying that, nor do I have the means to pay that, um, my primary care provider sent in another prescription for a drug called Contrave. So it's actually um, a drug that has... Um, a component in it that's used for people who are addicted to things. And there's also Wellbutrin or bu bu Bupropion. That is the hardest word for me to say for no reason. So you've got an antidepressant mixed with an anti-addictive and it works on the same area in your brain that helps to control um, hunger and the feeling of fullness and compulsive eating. So I'm waiting to see how much of that drug will be and see if my insurance will cover it. But I will keep you guys updated. Um, if that drug does come in for me, I will start using that um, as soon as it comes into the pharmacy and then I will give you guys kind of an update and like a unboxing video. So I'll show you the prescription and tell you what the, um, what the, uh, like what the usage is and kind of my side effects and things like that. But thank you guys so much for keeping up with me. Um, I'm trying, trying, trying to get better with these videos. I've just had so much going on in my life. Um, but thank you guys so much. I hope everyone's doing okay out there in the midst of the pandemic and trying to get um, your weight loss journey together. I hope and pray that you guys are doing okay out there and I will see you next time. Bye.